Hi guys, it's your Pontus. How are you? How are you guys going today? How are you guys going? You guys all okay? You guys okay? Everything okay? Everything okay? That's really good. Just going to post the link for our crew members. Our good crew members. We've got some beautiful, beautiful crew members. You know, they're, they're very dedicated. They help me out. They're just nice, gorgeous souls. You know, nice souls. Old souls. You know, soul of the earth sort of people. Not interested in themselves. Just doing it all for the community. Just doing it all for the community. And I got to tell you guys, it's, it's really, really nice to come here on the show and talk wristwatches. And here we go. We got my good little friend, Irix Guy. He's just, you know, Irix Guy is just your typical American. He's just trying to get a few audience cross inter integration. That's okay. Hello, Irix guy community. How's it going, man? The community going great. How about yourself? You know, you mean to be honest with you? You want to be? In yeah, the be, be honest. Spirit. Be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking pissed off. Okay, I'm fucking pissed off. Okay, these fucking lousy fucking sons of bitches. These cunts, unfucking loyal cunts, okay? Fucking cunts! I said to these fucking cunts, do not stream against me. Do not stream against me. What does Tim do yesterday? He streams against me. You fucking piece of shit! He was a nobody, a nothing, a piece of fucking garbage! Okay, he came on the stream, he buys a bit of lousy advertising space, and then he gets an audience and he's starting to make money and he turns into a prick. You know what? Go back to fucking Ukraine, you piece of shit. And you know what? It's time now for me to be the absolute ruthless prick that you guys deserve. You think That's I'm in a bad say. mood? Look at this. Kurt A is promoting Perth Luxury. He's doing an unboxing. and he's So what? He's bought a, he got a lousy Rolex. Big deal. A squeaky voice. Squeaky. You know, the thing that really makes me laugh is Marco couldn't stand the fucking guy. He's got a squeaky, squeaky, squeaky little voice. Squeaky, squeaky little voice. And he always talks about shit that nobody's interested in. And I'm, I'm the only bastard who put the stupid jerk on the show because I felt sorry for him because he's fucking pathetic and he's fat and he's hopeless. And then the son of a bitch stabs me in the back. It's going to be awesome. I got to tell you, I'm really, really pissed off. Really, really pissed off, okay? Hey, I liked your what's in the box video. That was a good one. Yeah, guess the price of the watch. Yeah, I don't know. I got to be completely honest with you there. I am really pissed off with this whole YouTube. Sucker horn! Sucker horn. So now, you know what? Crew, where's, the, where's my crew? Come on, crew. I'm only angry at Tim. You other guys can come back on. Where are you guys? They're, they're like they're like mice. You know, wham! One's got caught in the trap, and the other mice, they just go and hide. They just, they just, just, they just don't want to get involved. They don't want to get seen. They're just, 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 just waiting in the corner to come out for the cheese. Whatever happened to the guy that lived on the boat? Remember, he was on a few live streams? Yeah, I can't even remember. His, I think his name was John. Great guy. Just, you know, he's just, just a salt of the earth. I think his ship, let me put it this way, his ship has sailed. How's that? <laughs> Patrick Chips, $5. Archery explodes. Fight them, traitors. You know what? I've had my share of traitors. And I got the rancher in the back room there. Jeez, that's toxic. Bring him on. 
Yeah, he's Mr. Feel Good. He's he's the original one who stabbed me in the back. That bastard left me. Let me tell you this. That bastard left me. Okay? He fucking left me. That's what happened. He left me in the lurch. He didn't fucking stand by me. Look at him, you bastard. I was loyal to you. I was your friend and you left me. Oh, I'm going. Well, you know what? Fuck off. I had enough of the rancher. I honestly can't stand him. You know what somebody said? I posted a Watch video. Watch and pray, $2. Pontiff, are you just the audacity low blow Tim? Low blow, what does that mean? Arch Pontiff, you are just the audacity. Low blow Tim. Low blow. Low blow Tim, yes. And then we've got, what else? I don't, um, then we've got, Ken Fresno, $5. Arch, I'm a bit amazed you were surprised that you got the green weenie from a lefty Ukrainian. Get a new crew of collectors, not streamers. I tell you what, these are self-interested sons of bitches. You know what? Then they start giving me advice. I made them. They were no nothing. Shit. That's what they were. Let's just, let's just clarify it because some of these people think they're so special. They were a piece of fucking shit before they came on my stream you wonder why i'm angry anyone who rebel streams against me will get your i'm not gonna fucking give you punters or customers okay it doesn't work that way jay wright two pounds Chill, please. Tim, put a link in just for from his just now. Tim, put a link in from his just now. See, he I took his wrench away. He can no longer post links. I am so angry. It's not funny. I am so angry. These sons of bitches, they used me. Rx guy, they used me. Do you understand? I understand 100%. That's why I don't, I hardly ever have guests on my channel. They fucking used me. That's what they did. They used and abused me. Tim Wright, $5. Archie, what do you think of this Speedmaster Sapphire, Tudor Diet Panda, or the Breguet Type 21? You know what, Tim? If you knew anything about watches, it'd be good to have a conversation, but you just Google it. You just fake all this bullshit because you're a fucking phony. That's what you are. You're a phony. You're phony. If you want to know what do you think, why don't you fucking buy one besides buying Rolex? I am in a bad mood today, Irix guy. You know that? I've can you seen see? Worse. Can you understand how I've been used or not? You know what? It doesn't matter because you're still on top. And you're still the pontiff. You're number one oh. in the watch community. <laughs> Who's this guy? What the fuck do you want? I tell you this now. They used me, okay? Rx guy, they used me. Do you understand that? I'm going to squash them like the bug, the cockroaches that they are. Do you understand? Hey, you've already squashed them. They used me. They developed a profile. They built up. Then they start arguing with me. Hang on a minute. You were a fucking turd before you came on this stream. You wonder why I'm angry? I try and be nice and kind. I don't want to have high blood pressure. I don't want to be arguing with people, okay? I want to be friendly and nice, okay? Let me ask you this. Let's no, they, they came and abused me. They came and sucked me dry. They sucked out the bone marrow. That's what they did. They stole. And you know what? They were streaming three hours before, three hours after I became the toilet break. <laughs> do you understand that or not? <laughs> I do. I've, I've got a question for you, and I'm sure the community here would want to know. <clears throat> Just one minute. GB, $2. Tell them the hard facts, Pontiff. Don't worry. I've fucking explained it to him. I said to Tim, it's a two-day ban. 
Otherwise, you can cough in a hundred dollars to 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 remove the ban. Money solves everything. Let me explain that to you, you Americans. Money solves everything. You give me enough money, I'm happy. Okay, I'm purely market forces driven. Okay, I am purely market forces driven. Simple as that. Market forces. And as for Tim, oh, he thought he could stream. Oh, I didn't know. Fuck me, dead. This is my living, you fucking piece of shit. I am so angry at the moment. I am so angry. I am so worked up. I, I am just... Anthony Napatano, two dollars. Too scared for the rancher, are you? I let the son of a bitch on. I was gonna tear shreds off him because I'm in a foul fucking mood today. I'm gonna switch telcos. What do you think of that, Irix guy? Today, what uh, what are your what are your providers down in Australia? You have AT and T. Well, or? we've got a. Uh, there's a Chinese girl down the road. I don't mind. There's a Korean. Right, but oh, she's that a kind of prudish. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Watch van four pounds fifty. Take it to the red line, Johnny Jar Zen. Red line printing. Remember him? Yeah, he was a. He's actually a really nice guy. I really like Johnny Jar Zen. And we got Ken Fresno five dollars. Arch, what do you think? Do you think Nico is sore from all these guys swinging on his nuts? To be completely honest, I'd actually don't mind Nico. To be completely honest, and I and I've I've said everything I can. I actually don't mind the guy. He's a boss man. I'm a boss man as well. Okay, he's a little bit more successful boss man, substantially more successful, but we're still boss men, and he knows how to keep his bitches under control. <laughs> this is what Plastic said to me. He said a good pimp has to belt them occasionally just to keep them in check. This is what a good pimp does. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I thought that was nasty. But this is how it works. A good pimp has to offer a beating every now and again. I'm sorry. Irix guy, you got a lot to learn, Irix guy. If you're going to have crew and people helping you out, man, you're going to well, get stabbed. You know, and, and Nico's, Nico's a great guy, but I look at it a different way. I think he's kind of... He's got his crew, but he's not he's not in control of the crew. I think he's part of a, a part of a network. So you're independent channel, I'm an independent channel. So we he's don't have part to of a network. Check he's not a network streamer. I, I think he may be part of a multi channel network on you on no, YouTube. I don't know. No, 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 I, no, ask no, your viewers no. and see what they say. Patrick Chip, I, I hate those view I get so angry with their emails because I would never give a percentage of my earnings to anyone. Do you understand that? <laughs> Yeah, I'll add one of them on. They emailed me and they said, hey, you know, we want you to join. And I said, you know, I talked to them and I, you know, I, I want to have 100% creative control and I'm not going to give up any of my revenue. It's stupid. <laughs> 100%? Man, yeah. I am with you. We are Republicans. Trump, Trump 2030. Whatever, Amen. whatever the fuck. Patrick Chip, five bucks. Wait till Putin finds out what Ukrainian Tim did. Very ugly. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. Thank you. Patrick there and Randall K eight dollars. Hey Arch, what do you think of the Black Bay fifty eight Navy? Black Bay fifty eight Navy. I gotta I've be got completely. That. Sorry, I said I've got that one. He's talking about the fifty eight, the blue. You got that? Yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, let me pull it up here. Yeah. Let's thank see. you. It's uh. <clears throat> and Bobby I'll, I'll give... Google. Bobby Google. Bobby so Google. Black Bay 58 Navy. I think it's perfect proportions. It's 39 mils. Yeah, but... I was just sorry. I, the reason I Google this is I'm thinking, have they brought out a Navy version? What the hell is this? I just, I just, what the hell? You use that terminology. I just wanted to, to check what he's talking about. Um, you're talking, of course, about the blue. Just going to bring this up for one tick there. Um, look, I got to tell you the truth. I think the 58 is absolutely the way to go. I could never... I could never get comfortable with the 41. It was always a chunky monkey. But the 58, which is actually 39 mil, I think it wears so much better. 
Hey, you got a sub as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got the one one four zero six zero. But how does yeah, the size this... compare? Are they similar, or is the tutor smaller? The the tutor's smaller. Um, I mean, let, let's see what case height. Let's see right here. So can y'all? Can everybody see that? Yeah, put up, 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 up. Is that? So oh, the... that's the Rolex on the left. Yeah, yeah, that's the one one four zero six zero, and this oh, is. Oh, sorry. The... That... Oh, sorry. That, that looks like the, the, the tutor's bigger. So just put them together again. A bit let, me, up. Uh, let me hold them up. You've got to put it like above here. the super chat. Put it above the super chat. That's it. That's it. Okie dokie. So, so which one do you think is bigger? The Rolex is bigger. Well, the Rolex wears bigger because of the lugs. The, uh, okay. And then obviously the, the Black Bay is also a 39 mil, but you can see how the lugs are tapered more on the, on the Black, on the Tudor. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, I had the forty-one. I could never fall in love. I could, I found it very hard because it's so big. You, you, you know what I mean? It, it was so. It, it's too tall, and and yeah, I tried it, it on in Turks and Caicos, and it was, yeah. it was good I, except I, for the height. And then also, you know, on your tutor, you had on the crown, yeah. it had like the black, what is it, enamel or whatever. This just has the sil you know, the stainless steel. Oh yeah, it had the the, the space that was kind of that enamel, the, the, the sort of the the tube, the tube. It's called the tube. Yep, the tube there. Yeah, I think it's a great watch. I think it is an absolutely amazing watch. Uh, we got a super chat. We got we got Watch Cardinal in the group there. Hi, hello, the Pine Baron. Anything in particular you are looking for? This is the the Watch Cardinal. Hey, Watch Cardinal, why don't you jump on, man? I love you. Come on, come on, jump on, jump on. That's uh, Marco, Marco the man, Marco the man. Let's bring him on. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ermin Ingram, $5. Have a scotch, Pontiff. Well, I'm actually on a six-month break. I'm on a six-month break from drinking. And I, I want to give that a shot because I could very easily turn. Um, yeah, jump on. Jump on. Jump on, Marco. Let's have a let's chat some watches there. Anthony Napolitano. Two dollars. You missed my last super chat, Anthony Napatana. Where did I miss his super chats? Have a look here. Oh, five dollars. Anthony Napatano, five dollars. Oh, I forgot. You won't let the rancher on because you don't want to upset Tim. Oh, your little. No, I actually let him on. I did just let him on, and he jumped off. You could hear that laugh. Tim, sorry, uh, Irix guy. You heard him. He was there, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this act you and Tim are doing is getting old. You don't want to upset Tim, your little lover. This act you and Tim are doing, <laughs> unfortunately, it's not an act. The guy's trying to carve off my business. He's trying to carve off my business, and uh, I, I'm just not going to let that happen. That's exactly right. I'm. If, if you rebel stream against me, you're going to get a block. Cock block, cock block, cock block. You're going to get a block. Simple as that. And uh, I got to tell you, I got to be hard and firm. That's just how it is. You've got to be hard and firm. Herman Ingram, five dollars. Have a scotch. I'm on a, I'm on a six. Do you reckon I should? What do you think of that idea? Don't drink. I'm not drinking now. I would go ahead and get Nico on your channel, and then I drink after that. He's yeah, gonna come he's, visit you, isn't he? Yeah, I, I got to do that. I'm gonna. I, yeah. I, I'd prefer to. I'd prefer. I, I think I could make some good money out of that. Anthony Napatano, two dollars. You okay? We did that super chat. Thank you for for very kindly reminding the pontiff. Uh, Marco, jump on! Come on, guys. JJ, Marco, jump on. Burbing hard. ABC, jump on. I'm in a good mood now. It's all good. It's all good. There's no. There's no angry pontiff. Uh, the pontiff's had his spiel. Now we're getting into the, the nice flow. We've got Irix guy. And we've got you guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. What, what do you think? They're on the fence. See, they're, they're, they're like little rats. You know, they've, they've seen the cat. Whack. I can see the eyes. You know, the eyes. I can see the, the eyes there. You know. Here we go. Anthony Napatano, $2. Rancher. You heard what he said. Jump on. Yep, anyone can jump on now. You've got to show your face. I want to make sure it's you because 
I heard somebody who jumps on and starts saying horrible anti yeah, racist words. I don't I don't particularly That's not good. That's that's not that's not a fun thing to do. I mean I hate every race personally. See, I you can I'm not racist because I hate everybody equally the same. Especially the Ukrainians. Especially the Ukrainians. Uh, RX guy, managing a crew. What do you think? What have you learned? What management lessons have you learned from managing a crew? Well, considering I only manage myself, you know, it can be difficult at times. And yeah, oh, the money's I good. I must check. admit. Here we go. Humble Pine, twenty dollars. Just want to support the Pontiff. Actually, Humble Pine, Pine Baron. He gave me very good advice yesterday. You know what he said? People will take advantage of you from where until you draw the line in the sand they will take as much as they can until you say no 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 then they will stop taking advantage of you and unfortunately pine baron you're, you're 100 percent right 100 percent right pine baron humble pine just want to support the pontiff and shout out to tim jj marco bear toyota mo tanzeel bbw and blah 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 irex guy look at that they got some nice i like your brightling cap that is a beautiful i've actually got a brightling cap myself you know that yeah i've got this one and then a white one i've got a brightling cap a zenith cap and a rolex oh, cap where's you know, tim actually cap? tim actually sent me a rolex cap nice yeah that's when we were friends And we've got fellow riser five dollars can we get a jj lacoot we love you pontiff can we get the og tim on loudmouth tim the original tim well tim he was an interesting guy loudmouth tim what did you think didn't he get rich off of bitcoin or something i i think he was just lower middle class he had a couple investment properties he had the tesla lovely guy but really nice just True Republican, Heartland Republican sort of dude. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. I, I, I didn't say there was. Capitalism. Can we get a JJ LeCoot? Can we get it's a JJ LeCoot? It's all about JJ LeCoot. JJ LeCoot. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Irix guy, have you ever thought about doing streaming yourself? I mean, everyone who comes on my stream, they seem to think it's the way to make money and they start yeah. doing it soon. When are you going to rebel stream, Jay? Uh, I mean, RX guy, please, so, please well, actually, let me know. Now, see, I'm doing something different. I won't do rebel stream. I'll do complimentary stream. So I've got all the streaming hardware that I bought on my own and I've created yep. time pieces for tomorrow and I'm going to be doing a lot of watch related videos. So I'd love to, I'd love to collaborate with you with some live shows. And uh, I've got multiple oh, cameras. So we're going to have camera course. angle on the watches. We're going to have sorry, camera so, angle. So, sorry. So you actually, you were going into the watch area, the genre. Do you, do you see the watch area as a good thing? Because I'll be honest with you. I think the watch market is a very niche YouTube area. Correct. You, and that's the, that's the best aspect of it is how niche Do you really want to be there? Can I ask you that? Do you really want to? Well, do you, you really want to be there to, in that? In the do you, is, is that what you want? I mean, you want to become another watch blogger? No, it's but it's just a component of my channel because ultimately I'm travel and adventure. But, you know, watch collecting has always been an adventure. And when I travel, I collect watches. And, you know, it was your, your videos that steered me in the right direction. And I started getting a lot of quality pieces. So, you know, it's just kind of an extension of the content I already have. And just have fun with it. You know, I'm not I'm not looking to to do much more than that. Just have fun and monetize it and make money. I mean, what else? <laughs> What's better than making money, you know, <laughs> and, and, and talking about what you enjoy? 100%. I totally get it there, you know. I got to be totally honest with you there. It's um... so you're going into watches. Why are you going into watches, man? You think there's money there? Well, yeah, there definitely is, because like you said, it's niche content, but also there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are wanting the education and you know they get it from you but they can't get it from these mass marketed you know watch channels i mean they're just all about 
Just very yeah. quickly, Pine Humble Pine, five dollars. Archie, next super chat will be fifty. If you can guess what my name means, Humble Pine, Humble Pine. It's a timepieces tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Look, everyone's doing wife, yeah. their own plugs. That's okay. Humble Pine. That's because you. Um, Humble Pine. It's because you. You. Um, you just you take it. You haven't taken the blue pill yet. So you just humble pine until it's red pill. Then you're Pine Baron, the monster out of the cage. Uh, we've got here Randall K, eight dollars. Arch, what do you think of the IWC Spitfire thirty nine mil with in house movement? I got to be totally honest with you. I think it's too late, too little, too late. Do you like the Spitfire, Irix guy? Ah, that's the IWC. Yeah. I'm not a fan of IWC because every time I think of IWC, I think of IBC, which is root beer, and it's not a Rolex. It's a, it's a. Uh, it, do you have I, IBC root beer, the beverage in Australia? No, uh, a little bit. Yeah, I, IWC. I don't know. International watch company. It just doesn't sound prestigious. It never did. And I know they're part of Richemont, aren't they? No. IWC, yeah, but they, they were kind of, I don't know if you're really being that fair because they were a very well-regarded, they were Swiss in the German part of Switzerland because in Switzerland they speak German and French and a bit of Italian. And they were Schaffhausen. Isn't that and, really yeah, they were in the, they were in the German, the German part. I'm just going to bring up a, a photo of this IWC Spitfire now. Um, I got to be honest with you. I don't mind it. I, I looking at it here. I think it, it it looks like a great looking sort of watch there. It, the problem is good. with with IWC is that they are really. It reminds me of a Mark Eleven, Mark Ten, Mark Ten, Mark. What was it? Mark Eleven. Mark Eleven was the the vintage piece. Um, I would go to Breitling Aviator 8 over that. I think the Aviator 8 looks really good with the B01. The thing is, IWC does have a good pilot background. They did have, a, they, you know, they, they do have a good history in that. Here we go. We've got another, I've got an amazing super chat. It's come in Humble Pine. Nope, it's the opposite of Royal Oak. I shouldn't super chat, but whatever. Maybe common pine would be better. Oh, Royal Oak. Ah, humble pine. Royal Oak. Wowzers. I forgot you Americans are fascinated by royalty. You know what? They're all Germans. You know that, don't you? They're all Germans. If they're really um the royalty a british royalty is more german than british you do know that don't you oh we got a super chat here let's see we got a super chat they've got the yep. pine baron five dollars irix guy is your next competitor arch better cut him off now <laughs> irix guy's never really been a competitor because He's done something completely different. He's always done different things to me. His channel always had more subscribers, but I had more views, I think. And now I've got more of both, but all no, because my I, I've diluted it with the three channel attack. Yeah, I told you about that, right? Yeah, but every, every every almost every video I post, I give a shout out to your channel and do a YouTube card because I'm you know I'm not in this for the money. I'm in it for for the passion. Where do you get this bullshit from, Irix guy? This is well, I mean, it's truth. You know, I, I I give respect where it's due, and I mean, I learned a lot. No, no, from no. You. you you have been very good to me. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I don't mind people being as long as they're up front. The timepiece fund two dollars. Six months will go away quickly. Art, stay the course. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a good idea. Stud muffin five dollars. Arch, can you pull up an email? Okay, we're, we're, we're short staff today. Where is Bobby Google gone? Where's Bobby? Bobby, jump on. I don't understand why Bobby is taking things so 
badly. Where is he Bobby? posted a comment? Do you want me to read it? It's not a super chat. Yeah, read it. Just read it. Watch Cardinal 629. Irix Sky has a filling channel and made a video about me using Archie for fame. Ironically, it was his most viewed video in over two years because his channel is dead. LOL. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, your channel's not dead. What does he mean by that? Well, you know, Watch Cardinal, this is just a life lesson. And as you grow older, you might learn that You'll learn a lot. Yeah, do your do your understand. gig and have fun. You're young. I don't understand fun. why Watch Cardinal doesn't jump on. Jump on for a little bit. Yeah, you should. Come on, come on. We'll all chat. We'll I talk mean, about look, I was business. angry at Tim, but the anger's over now. What's? I'm actually quite cool-headed now, don't you think? I think so. I, I think I'm pretty level-headed. The anger's gone. The poison's gone. Hey, I've got to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. Oh, in just okay, a you go to the toilet. That's okay. Yeah. Yep, you just, 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 yep, that's cool. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know what to say today. I had to become very tough with Tim. He was rebel streaming yesterday. Anyone who rebel streams against me, they will get a two day ban. Um, Tim, I don't know what to say. Uh, I can't. I'm doing, here we go. Watch Cardinal. I can't. I'm doing work, and now I'm distracted by the entertainment. That's good. As long as you, as long as you enjoy. That's okay, man. What about JJ? Come on. I've always backed you. I've taken a lot of stick from the crew. JJ, come on, or ABC, or Burbinghard. ABC, pure class, pure class. Get ABC on. Uh, actually, I liked Ron the Shrink. Ron, I had a great chat to Ron yesterday. What about that Israeli dude? Dis, what's his name? Where's he gone? I, I can't, I could talk movies, we could talk music. We, we, Sucker Horn, Sucker Horn, Sucker Horn. We put the link there. I'd like to get someone else. I mean, Irix guy is saving me because I was sinking fast. I was sinking fast. Uh, jump on. We're just sharing the link now. I got to tell you guys, it is a very, very tough gig. YouTube is hard. You become friends with people uh, and they will stab you in the back. You think they're your friends and they will stab you. And it, it's, it's the entertainment business. You wonder why? The entertainment business. This is what's happened. It's it's everybody's. A lot of Americans want to be famous and rich, money and fame. It's one of the sins, the evil sins. Speaking of sins, here we go. We've got the uh, the the original found. How are you? How are you? Tell me this. G'day, Archie. How are you, mate? Hey, I'm pretty good there. Talk to me. Talk to me, Jono. What's going on there? Well, Jono, you know, I got to... Uh, long time no see. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's beautiful. He's a good guy. I tried to add Saad. What the hell were you doing, Saad? You wanted to come on. You're waiting there. I just don't press you on. You don't give your pri pri priority treatment. I got to bring it in slowly, man. It's called professionalism. Jono, what do you think, man? I had a bit of a talk to you. They were rebel streaming against me yesterday, and I said, two-day ban. Oh, what do you no, think, no. John? What do I do? What it's do I do, a, John? It's only a slap on the wrist, isn't it? A two-day ban. That's yeah, it's a slap on the wrist. That's okay. right. I'm not. I'm not. Look, look it's Archie, like you, you've been around a long time, mate, and uh, I've, I've been with you a long time, you know, playing this little game, but we've seen many come and go. Now, Oryx, Oryx yeah. guy... Yeah, you know, he's with us. He's been around a long time too. You know, Oryx has always popped in and out over the years. You know, not much yeah. over yeah, the years. He's... Always had great respect for you. Always yeah. supported the battle, you know. But, you know, I've seen many of them, mate. And, and T -t -t you know. Just one minute there, Mr. Thing. GMT, $5. Hi, boys. Um, I do want to. And, 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 and they take a mile. And what I, many, I, you, what many have yeah. done, they've taken kindness for weakness. Well, that's a big mistake with you. And, uh, and, and I, I was reckon... talking to you this morning. There's no difference between the new crew 
and the old crew. I mean, let's be honest there. Clivers, he was a real arrogant son of a bitch. He was an asshole, right? And I don't know if the new crew is any different. Do you? No. Self-interested, fame and money. At least Clive had a bit of maturity about him as a man. You know, like these blokes are still wet behind the ears. You know, they, you know, they, still, think they're dick, they still think they're dicks for pissing out of, Arch. You know, like, GB, really. $2, almost 400 viewers. Glad to see Irex and Sucker Horn. You bet you. And we've got the Pine Baron. The Pine Baron, $5. Arch, you say every day that you don't care about anyone, only money. So why do you begrade others for their own self-determination? It's because I am a hypocrite. Hippo I'm, I'm, I, it, it's, it's, I'm the ultimate capitalist here. I don't mind helping people. The problem is, it's when they start helping themselves. I don't mind anyone doing well. I'm happy for them. The problem is, they they killed the parasite, killed the host. A good parasite always leaves enough milk and, and nutrients for the host. You don't want to kill the goose that lays the golden eggs. Otherwise, there's no eggs. There's nothing. And that's that's what it feels like. At times, Thomas G, two euro sucker horn. Sucker horn. That's right. The sucker horn is in the house. Uh, take the widescreen off us. We're hard to show all me wrinkles up, pal. Yeah, no That's worries cool. there. Jay Wright, two dollars. Hi, John. Hope all is well, pal. Hey, Irex. They love Irex. And Mark P, five pounds. The rancher was the guy who said downvote when he was on the stream. He is not a friend of the channel. The new crew just worked with them, Archie. Yeah, but they, 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 they were using me three hours before. Three, I became the toilet break. They were sucking me dry on the super chats. They started to think they were important. They started to think they actually were important. Oh, many have done that, Arch. Many have done it. And, you know, I tell you what, let me just tell you, I had this pathetic guy, Perf Luxury, squeaky voice, overweight, nobody liked him. You can you can see why. He's just an obnoxious pig of a man. Absolute <laughs> pig of a man. He sends me a few lousy bottles of booze. Okay, they were nice bottles of booze. Nobody, Marco did never wanted him on. He said, don't put him on, Arch. He's boring. He's shit. He's just... Ugh. And guess what he's done now? He stabbed me in the back and he's running a rebel stream. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Perf. Thank you. What a great what a great piece of shit you turned out to be. What a fucking turd. Absolute turd. Mark P, five pounds. The rancher. Okay, we did that one there. Mark P, I gotta tell you. The rancher, he he um you know, I got to tell you, the, the stud muffin, $5. Arch, remember the email and sucker horn. What was your favorite watch that Archie owned? Let me dig out the email. I'll, I'll do that now. Oh, how long is that? That's come back. Is, you like my paddocks, Johnny, didn't you? You always liked the oh, paddocks. You always oh, said, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. That's what Johnny says. I remember the Calatravia head for, you know, and I was, always used to think, you know, it looked small. On you, but when in, you know you're sitting next to you in the car in real life, it's not small at all. You know, it looked very nice. But yeah, personally, out, out of your your Pedex now, I, I still like um, you know. Well, the world time's up there, but the six double oh six, you know, that was my favourite one that you had. I thought that was a beautiful watch. Ah, oh, yes, that was beautiful. Well, what would I know about watches? That's not my expertise. No, 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 John. It was beautiful. I, I, I John. Just because I sold it doesn't mean it wasn't. I I don't have to. I complete that watch was amazing. That watch was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, Rick, I took now, umbrage to that um, that statement someone made about you before about you were in competition with Archie. You've never been in contact with um, con, you know conflict with Archie at all. You know, no. you, you know from you know from my knowledge of your channel. Yeah, yeah no, he hasn't. He, he, on, he's got a you know, traveling live streams. You yeah, know, Ar yeah, Archie and I found each. Actually, I found Archie because I was researching. Originally, I only had the Omega Seamaster 300M, and I found his videos. Everything led back to him, and then we kind of 
hit it off and, you know, talked about our metrics. We've always been a similar view count and subscriber count. Yeah, chat, I mean, we came from an IT background. We both had shitty IT jobs that sucked. Yep, and got out of that corporate, always, corporate. As I see, Iris, he's always been genuine, boy. You know, like, he's not out there to pinch viewers up there or post his links, come and watch my channel. I can't ever recall Lyrix ever saying that. Or, you know, he's no, never I, been I always look up and promote his own channel. And, I and I've been happily... watching Lyrix for what, eight years on your channel? Exactly. Here we go. We've got Yankee Doodle, $2. Arch, why are you so afraid to go solo? I like it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just showing the, the sharks, the... the 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 I'm just showing the rats for the parasites for what they are. That's what I want to yeah. say is that when I needed them, I want them on. I just want to see. I want to push, test the friendship. To quote Anthony Farah, timepiece gentleman, test the friendship. Yeah, I need ya. And where are you guys? They all they're like the mice. You know, one mouse got got caught in the trap. The other ones. They don't come out to help. No, they're just sitting there thinking, can we get that cheese? Is it worth going out or are we going to get snapped as well? You know, I I got to tell you, man, you think I'm dumb? You think I, I've been in the corporate world. You think you think this is any different to the corporate world? What do you think corporate world is? Jay Wright, $2. Hi, John. Hope all is well. We got Mark P. Uh, yep, we, we did that Mark P one there. We've got the uh, Yankee Doodle. I don't mind going solo. I'm perfectly happy to go solo. I want to expose. It's like, you know, one mouse gets caught, then you look in, in the cupboard and you see the other ones. Just you see the, All you see is the little black eyes, the super D. <laughs> they're just waiting there, you know, waiting there to come out. <laughs> you know, they're not getting there. No, 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 no. You know, they don't want to get involved. In trap eventually, Arch, don't they, mate? They all get caught in the trap. 100% there, Stud Muffin. Stud Muffin, I got the uh, email. Stud Muffin, Stud Muffin, I got the email. Was that the one, Stud Muffin, was that the one on the Rolex? The Rolex, the white gold Rolex. Is that the one, Stud Muffin? Tell me if that's the right one. I think that was the email you sent me. Uh, I think I think that was it. Uh White gold sub, I gotta be totally honest with you. I kind of I've moved away from these sort of show offy sort of watches. I kind of I kind of um I don't know. That it's cool. So expensive. See, I'm a working man. I don't go into the boutique and plop fifty thousand dollars US on the table and say, Hey, look how great I am, see. I never really thought my shit didn't stink. And uh, I got to be honest with you, these sort of uh, watches here, it's a beautiful, it's, it it's actually looks really beautiful. White gold's very soft. It's not steel, remember that. But I got to tell you, Irix guy, what do you think of this? If you really hit the big time, would you buy one of these? Actually, I would. I actually starting to like it. I, I like the color, but the thing is, if they had it in stainless, I would get the stainless just because, like you said, this is too soft. And if you want something that's a statement piece, the yellow is going to stand. Yellow gold is going to stand out more than than the white gold. You know so something, that, Suckerhorn always said: gold is yellow. It's not white. It's not red. It's not. <laughs> it is yellow. That's what gold looks like. You know why? Why do you have to be ashamed of how it looks? The Pine Baron, five dollars. My Rolex AD is having me for a round of golf Monday. What are a couple questions I should ask during the round? Look, it depends. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, 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 what I would like to know is, Pine Baron, is has supply been limited? Do they have wait lists? Do they, how much do you need to spend? Find, ask him, pin him down and say, look, how much do I need to spend to get a Pepsi? How much do I need to spend to get a Steel Panda Daytona? Just get some firm figures. That's what I'd like to hear. Nail it down. What do I need to do? Just say to him, what do I need to do? I want to get a Panda. How much do I need to spend? He'll give you an answer. That's all you have to do. DC and LV, $2, 40 minutes in before first watch question. Quality program. Thank you. Thank you indeed. It's uh, really these... 
we, we know, uh, you know, we're all focused on watches here, but there is a lot more to life than just, you know, focusing on, you know, what's on your wrist. Well, I've had a problem well, with then, the crew. They've been streaming three hours before, three hours after. What the hell do I do? You know, this is the whole thing. I'm actually going to advertise for some new crew. If any of the new crew are interested, there are positions available. We're always, I drive past this real estate agent. We are always looking for winners. That's what they yeah. say. We are always looking for winners. Archie, you know who I liked a lot was a guy from Atlanta, Georgia. He was really nice. The guy with the date just. Which guy was that? Was it Anthony or he had the date just? He was from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Super nice guy. Oh, he seemed passionate of, about the hobby. Or it's a lot of blokes have come on here. Yeah, you know, we've with, had a few. You know, uh, is he have the Porsche? And, and not the many blokes the... have the you know the the character to compliment Paul. Now, you're, you're one. You've always complimented. Yeah, he's, he's been a good guy. Arix, here we go. Lee Lee, five bucks. Art, set me straight. I like the hub, the Hulk sub. Is it a waste of money? Overrated? I love, I like the Hulk sub too. I don't, look, Mark, the, the price is market forces, okay? Whether that's overrated or not is your opinion on the market. This is a free enterprise economy. If something's worth more, you know, this is pure economics. Is it a waste of money? I could think of worse things and I could think of better things. Um, I, I personally, I wouldn't pay the money. I think myself, I actually like the ceramic. I like the black dial with the green. I like that contrast. But that's not to say the Hulk... Are we saying an investment wise? Are we saying is it which one do I personally like better? I like the sub. I like the Hulk sub myself. Yes, I do. Is it a waste of money? That's that, that's economics. And is it overrated? I I personally, for that money, I wouldn't be paying the premium. But only. You can decide that. It's it's economics. It's economics. So that's my answer on that one there. Randall, Randall seven dollars. Randall eight bucks. Arch, what's a good single malt scotch to start with? Ooh, you know what I would start with? I reckon a good single malt scotch to start with would Glenn be Fiddick. something like a Glen Livet. Yeah. A Glen Livet. Glen Livet, I think, would be a good because they're not ridiculously overpriced. You can get the higher age ones are going to be better. I reckon that's actually a good scotch. Glen Livet, single malt. Glenlivet. That's a that's a yeah. that's a good starting point. What's a great scotch? Look, it, the more you spend, generally speaking, money is a great determiner. Spending money doesn't guarantee a great scotch, but generally, the good scotches are not cheap. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Some of the if you have no idea what you're doing, if you have no idea what you're doing, generally speaking, the more you spend, the better it will be. But it, you've got to understand <clears throat> it's uh, there are some sleepers. You're looking for that diamond in the rough. Stud Muffin, $5. Sucker Horn, would you and Archie do a stream together like old times? Sure. We, we've thought about we it. Can. We can. We can. He, he, John's been busy. We've had lockdown and COVID. We just got to find the right niche there. John's always looking at a lot of streams I do. He's always here. He came on to lend a hand today. He came here for leadership. John came here for leadership. The, the crew's getting a bit unruly. We've had some really aggressive conversations. And John's came on to give leadership to the to the ranks a bit of leadership and uh that's the way it goes nicholas latham scott two dollars 50k three piece meal deal what three watches geez you know what that really gets the cogs in the brain turning that really gets the cogs turning and uh three watches for 50k 
Man, what a bit of, that's like dreaming. You know, when I get depressed, sometimes instead of saying how bad the world is, it's sometimes nice to say, what would happen if I won three million? What would I buy? And even you can fantasize and Google it a bit. Um, you know, there's Three million nothing... is very less these days. Sorry? Three million is very less these days, you know. Yeah, it really is. Much. Well, yeah, you look at you the know, prices of watches, you know. You cannot buy much. Yeah, a million. You million. know, it's one of these things. It's all relative, you know. Like, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'd be happy with 100,000 at times. You know, forget millions. I would be happy with a hundred thousand dollars that would really help me substantially you know i, I but can you are you a this. millionaire already well in australia not not in you well sort of well maybe you yeah sort of let's have a look here let's mm. have a look let's have a look i'll show you exactly three pieces for 50 i like this game this game is actually fun let's have a look i'm jumping on david sw so what i want firstly is i want a diver I want to get myself a good dive watch. What would I buy? Let's have a look. I reckon, Irix guy, you're going to get a sub. I want to get a sub. What do you reckon? Yeah, I would I would go with a no day. You know what I would go with? What's that? You know what I would go with if I had 50,000 to plug a hole? I'd go and get myself the new, the new 41 mil two-tone bluesy. Look at that. 20 grand. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. So this is I the agree. new 41 mil. It's swanky. Everyone got the kudos because it's the new model. It's actually quite beautiful. So that's $20,000. Next thing I would get. Okay, so now I've got my diver. You know what else I would like to add to that? You know what I'd like to add to that there? I'd like to get myself a GMT. Indeed. Why not? Let's get a GMT. Uh, what could we get there in a GMT? These are a bit expensive, the GMTs. You know what I'd do? Look at this. I'd probably add a Pepsi. I reckon a Pepsi. Look at this Pepsi here. What do you think of that? 24 grand. Okay. Because this is 50 that we never had. So we could buy over market because it's money we never had. Okay. It just came in our lap. So that's $40,000. 44, $44,000. 44, we got six thousand left you know what i would do with the six i would go buy two and um just tuner. have a hedonistic i'd go to a parlor john we go to a parlor together what do you think i would shout my friend john i would shout my friend john to a parlor we'd go and have fun together john what do you reckon of that idea oh i'm getting a bit old i'll sit there and watch there those are yeah Look, for six or seven thousand, I'd probably get a Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I reckon you could, that'd be a great three piece deal. Two tone diver, bluesy, Pepsi, and an Omega. Diver, GMT, Chrono. Three piece, Hunger Buster. You know what? And they're so beautiful. You could just love that. Man, that would just be. Gorgeous. Why why couldn't you love that? That would just be I, beautiful. Why are you not into presidents anymore? You were one of the first people on YouTube who used to rate around uh, 18038, uh, 18238 and stuff, you know. We learned you know, from you about these credits. The problem is with the presidents. That's a good question. Why no more presidents? I think to be honest with you, the problem with the presidents is the prices have gone up on them. I don't really I don't know if I really want a solid gold watch. I think it's a hard thing to live with. And I like the two-tone. Look at look, how much we're looking at presidents. Look at this. This is new model presidents. Look. Have a look. Yeah. Have a look. I have the green. 40 mil. We're looking at huge. Look at these. These, these, are, these are massive. Okay. It's a diamond. So look at this here. This is a 1280. Look, this is $46,000. Okay. Look at this. That is a, that's a beautiful. I have president. one of these. Fifty thousand yeah. dollars, but it's this is a thirty-six mil. This is the thirty-six mil, right? So that's a wee bit small. Forty-seven thousand dollars. You know what? I don't think that's a good value. I don't think it's a good value <laughs> equation anymore. These are the forty mils, sixty grand. Look at this here, forty grand. 
This is a 40, 40,000. So you're looking for, I think the problem yeah. with the presidents, let me tell you exactly what's wrong with the presidents. The problem with the presidents is you need to spend, I reckon you want to get the 40 mil. You don't want to get, you don't want to get the 36. The 36 is too small because it's almost good, but uh, you want the 40. And then the 40 is 40,000 US dollars. That's the reason there's no more presidents because they're not really great bang per buck. 40,000 US dollars is a lot of money. But Nicholas Lathan to... Scott. Yeah, just hang on there, Saad. Yes. Nicholas Lathan Scott, two bucks, 5196. No date sub and a Pepsi. How does that sound? It sounds okay. I prefer the bluesy. What do you reckon? Give me a quick Irix guy. Yes, no. What do you prefer? Bluesy or the what? What's the other option? 5196. That's a paddock that I'm actually wearing today. It's a, just a manual wine, Calatrava. I would go with the bluesy because I can jump yep. in the pool with it. You, yeah, look, it's up to you. There's nothing wrong with the 5196, but I'm wearing one as we speak. RPM, $7.00. Do you still have the pipeline to get new Rolex at retail or is it gone? No, that's gone. That's gone. That was MJT. He was working in Europe and uh, he was he had a very good connections there. He's left that country. So it seems very unlikely. And I was an idiot. I should have taken that Bruce Wayne for myself. I was an idiot. Okay, I confess I made a mistake. I was, I don't know why, I just did. I, 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 I let the, the, the young'un take it, and he doesn't even thank me for it. He's a smart ass. I, that really pisses me off. I get, flicked that watch. MJT came to me and said, is it okay if I offer this? I said, of course. But does the little punk give me creed? No, no. That really pisses me off no end. And I regret agreeing to that i should have said no i want it for me yankee doodle two dollars what is the best diver for taking a bath to be completely honest with you i don't think a watch really likes baths because there's soap suds and oil and shit a spa has really harsh chemicals i took an explorer 2 into a, a hot tub and it left this really horrible red. It took me ages to get it off. It, it kind of washed off itself, but the chemicals they use can really avoid hot tubs if you can, okay? A pool is okay because then you can rinse it later. Timepiece fund, $2, $50,000. A Calatrava, a Batman, a Speedy, and a Speedmaster 300. Make it four. Seamaster Yeah, that's a great watch, the Seamaster. Toyota Mo, five bucks for all Archie supporters. Throw up a few bucks to the Pontiff via Super Chats. Talk is cheap. Let's go, you nasty, cheap punters. There we go there. There we go. And then we got Randall K, eight bucks. Do you guys hate watches? Why don't they don't? Do you guys hate watches that don't have in-house movements? <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't. In fact, if you look at the really expensive paddocks, they've actually got Lamania. The really expensive four-digit Rolex is a Valjoux 727. A lot of the really expensive ones don't have in-house. The new pieces... Um, have gone in-house. I kind of... I'm not... I'm not, uh, I don't hate things automatically that don't have in-house, okay? So, um, yeah, that's kind of how it is there. That's Randall K. We love Randall. Guys, won't get off my nuts. It's generally confusing. The guys won't get off my nuts. I don't know what he's talking about there, Ron. Watch Cardinal. What's he up to there? Irix Adventure Channel. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. I don't mind Ron. I just don't get this. Okay. This bear, 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 bear is. Bear can say some really cutting stuff at times. He doesn't mean it. Toyota uh, Mo. Uh, can we get wenches? Book. Just get along. Can we wenches get. Just get along. 
You answer uh, that, John. Archie, on that point about Bear Clooney, Bear Clooney's loyal. And he is great... extremely loyal. The bear, yeah. extremely he's doing loyal. A great job. He, you know, he's doing a great job today in the in the chat sorting out the riff rap. Bear doesn't cop any shit. You know, Bear's a grown man. You know, a man's yes. man, Bear Clooney. You yeah, know, he's like, a man. You know, that's a that's man. why I respect him. You know, like, you know, not these little wide Jenners or you know, like fuck me. <clears throat> you know, they don't even know how to wipe their ass. Most of them. You know, like, you know. Like, you know you want to find out a bit of information, then we'll Google it. Yeah, you know, Christ, when I went to school, you know, we didn't have computers or anything like that. We'd have to go to a library and learn. You know, yes. and have a bit of clear thinking on the exercise. Not just going to Wikipedia to get your, you know... And if you were it. rich, you had Encyclopedia Britannica. <clears throat> yes, yes, we had to read. You know, had to you know, read from a book. Yeah, you know, they'll be worth money in years of time. You know, years to come, won't they? Books, you know... You know, and just a quick shout out to Bear. Got a lot of time for the bloke. Yeah, keep going, Bear. Just sort out the rip. I love the bear. The bear so has I. done Stud Muffin five dollars. Pick three watches that define Japan, Hong Kong, and America. I would have to say Japan, you'd have to pick a grand Seiko. Grand Seiko, because and I'd probably go a retro, maybe that retro GMT with the aqua hand. It's kind of like 1960s chic Japan. Japanese bossa nova, that's what it reminds me of. Just cool Japanese. I'm thinking Toyota GT2000. You remember the GT2000? That was the first Japanese supercar. They used it in the that. Bond movie. They used it in the Bond movie with Sean Connery. Delta, yeah. Hong Kong, look, look, what watch they, defines they, Hong Kong? Let me tell you this. It would have to be either a two-tone Datejust or a Daydate 36 with diamond dial. It would have to be because that is Hong Kong to a T, the half king and the full king. And America, what watch defines America? And I've got to tell you this. Submariner. I would have to. I would no. I would say really, we're going back in this vintage era. I reckon the watch that defines America, Hamilton, would be the Patek Two Five Two Three, a world time from the fifties, sixties. They weren't big sellers because they were bloody expensive, but they were. This is when America. You look at what America did: Boeing, all the big airplane companies in America, McDonnell Douglas. America was very wealthy after World War II. Aviation, the paddock, world time. 2523, which is the vintage. They, they weren't made in huge numbers, but it defines America. It kind of, America linked the world. So there you go. That's three watches to me that give you those countries there. Now we've got... So I got the rancher just jumping on. Clive, you you told, I mean, uh, John, you told me he's poison for my channel, didn't you? Well, Clive never pays any compliments, does he? No. You know, Clive, Clive you know, you know, likes to you know make his. He's a uh, toxic guy. Animal. The guy is very toxic. And be critical. You know, um, you know, it's up to you whether you let him on. You know, like, uh, yeah, you, you'll still yeah. kick him off. You know. You know, like we've seen it all. Toyota before. Mo, $2. Lolex deserves a wrench. No, he doesn't, because that son of a bitch was bad-mouthing me the other day on Tim's stream. I have seen shit out of his mouth. Let me just say this to you. Things that he said, he's not getting a wrench. I can. He's welcome on the stream, but he's not getting a wrench. Okay? I'm sorry, Toyota. The guy really said some hurtful, offensive things to the pontiff. Dennis Vachi, five bucks. When can the Serbansky bear come on? He actually, he said to me, he bear can't come on because he would lose his temper with everybody. That's what bear said to me. Bring him on. He would say, no, no, Get him on, bear man. is welcome. I've actually asked bear to come on numerous times. He said, Paul, I can't come on because I'll say some really offensive things. You know, bear, you think bear's dumb? 
Bear so, told me, Marco and Tim, he told me about them. He told me. He said, these guys, the ego's out of control. Bear told me. You think Bear doesn't, doesn't know? What? He's a young kid, Bear. Bear is a grown man. He's a grown man. He knows the truth. Yeah, yeah, totally agree, Arch. Totally agree with you. Randall K, $15. Thanks for the entertainment. Has some money for some Maccas. Thanks again, Arch. Have a good one. You betcha. I really do appreciate it. It's it's a um it's a good good show. And uh I gotta tell you, Saad, I don't know about you. You went on the other stream there. You're not really that loyal to your pontiff. What makes you go on these I, other streams, Saad? I I did email you. Did you receive my email? About I, I did. Pass. I'm still working on it. But I'm just saying. No, no, but I have just called my friend in Australia. He will manage it through PayPal, right? Oh, and okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, Saad. I got to tell uh, you, man, you're welcome on. I like new talent. We've got to have some new talent here. The show moves at a very fast pace. But I'll, tell me tell this. Me this yeah, please. Yes, tell me. Tell me. Ask the question. Um. I believe the 40 millimeter president that will uh, get out of fashion very early. You know, these uh, 36 mm's. I have this green dial and the one with pink diamond dial, right? Uh -huh. I think they will come back again. These 40 mm's and 41 mm's, they will get Look, out of fashion. And, you know, I got to tell ones. you, the 36 will always be in because you got to remember the Chinese love gold. Okay, and the 36 is a good size. For even for me, I actually reckon the 36 was a good size. When it's so big, when it gets bigger, everyone thinks it's better, but it's not because the proportions, it looks fat, okay? It's like it's like when Elvis looked put weight on. When he was thin, you think, "Oh, shit, he's a handsome man." When he put a bit of weight on, you think, "Oh, he's still a healthy man." Then he went yeah. You think, oh, shit, he looks like a fat cunt. And that's the whole thing. I honestly think the sweet spot is about 38, 39 mil, right? But I think the 36 don't. I like the 36. You know, it wears comfortably. I owned a couple 36s. I think the 40 is so expensive. It's so, I can't justify the yeah. price. The problem is, they're no longer good bang per buck. That's the problem. I don't mention them because the bang per buck. See, I, I think they've gone crazy. But, you know, I'd, I'd really like to get a 36 day date. I do want to get one. Talking about bang for buck, do you really think uh, stainless steel Daytona 116520 is uh, bang per buck? It is a steel watch. You know, I have one, but I regret buying it for $30,000. Look, $30,000 is a lot of money. Watch. You know what I mean? It's a lot of money, right? But yeah. if you want it, you have to pay the piper. I mean, there's no bargains. I think the bargain would be the two-tone. Okay? Because yes, you've, yeah. you've got the the Daytona, and it's very stylish. I, I don't know why people don't like two-tone. I, I love it in yeah. two-tone. But i got to be honest with you. You know what? Thirty thousand, maybe in this, the danger is in three years' time it'll be forty thousand. You say, "Oh, why did I sell it? It was so cheap. Thirty thousand was so cheap." You know, who knows? You know what I mean? The market. This is supply and demand. Okay. Right. Yeah. One thing for sure is, you know what? The watch craze is getting. You know what? I tell you, John. You know why this watch craze is going ballistic like this, John? You know why, don't you, John? Oh, people are looking for places to sink money. They're looking for places to sink money where the government doesn't put their sticky beak in. Let me tell you this. You have a car. You have property. It's all title and deeds. Yeah, that's right. You put stuff into a deposit box. Who the fuck is going to know about it? Who is going to know about it? You can't exactly. even get a pension. You know, my old man, right? Listen to this, Jono. He's worked all his life. He got a small inheritance from my auntie. Okay, he got 800. Okay, a, a rather large inheritance, right? He doesn't qualify for the pension. This guy's paid his tax. And the thing is, 
he's, he's got a lot of money in cash, like in the bank, in, in term deposit. It's less than 1% interest. Do you understand, John, or not? Oh, yeah, I know. My sister rang me up recently. She said, oh, look, we've got $1.3 million to invest. Uh, you know, um, the bank's going to pay us 1.3% uh, you know, on a term deposit. I said, you're kidding, aren't you? Uh, I said, give it to me and put it in the safe. Oh, she didn't like that idea. No. But that's yeah, exactly it. I'd rather have the banknotes when the when the return is so bad. Seriously, the Daytona. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, thirty thousand is expensive. Box paper's beautiful one. Go and sell it when the bomb goes off. Look, try and sell the fucker. Well, you tell imagine, me. You may imagine waking up in the morning and you go off to the ATM and it doesn't spit out money. That happened in India. Don't worry. That happened in India. You know, in India they took the Mahatma Gandhi note and they they, they cancelled it. Did you know that? Yeah, Sorry? Demonetization. Demonetization, they took yes. out the Mahatma Gandhi note and said this is no longer legal currency. Okay. Right? The big note. Yeah. You know what? You, you think that's that? not going to happen again? And then no. everybody deposited and they could only withdraw a small amount? You know what? Yeah. Between you and me, you think that's not going to happen again in India? Oh, wait until the Chinese start, you know. You know They're you broke. Know, They're broke. Do you understand? They're broke. Okay? You want to have things. You can't. The problem with a gold bar is you can't leave the country with a gold bar. You try leaving the country with a gold bar. The Daytona, just wear it on your wrist. Oh, oh it's just a watch. Exactly. I think it's worth every cent there. Of you course, it's a lot of money. Can't negotiate a gold shop, Paul. Sorry? Can't negotiate a day gold Daytona at a gold shop, mate. Oh, they're better. They're better than gold, John. No, if you really... I, I, know what you, I know where you're coming from, Johnny. You know what? I gave my wife... Did you see that, Johnny? I gave her a gold coin, 22 yeah. carat, 16.92 gram, yeah. one penny. It was a commemorative penny. Yeah. I bought it for scrap, John. Yes. Well, scrap. It cost yeah, me a thousand dollars. You know why, John? You know what I said to my wife? When the Indonesians invade, this is our ticket out. Put this away. Yeah, exactly. That'll get you. Out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. When the when they turn the computer off at the Reserve Bank, Imagine I got something to get me out of here. Imagine going off to Woolies to go and grab some milk and bread and you produce your quacky card. Oh, sorry, sir, the computers are down. We're only accepting cash. You know, you know, let's hope it doesn't happen. You know, it's always been a great fear of mine. You know, you know, oh, 100%, you know, John. You know? Tongo Bongo, $2. Arts, tell us how you feel about Saad. i got to tell you the truth there. I don't mind the guy. I don't mind the guy. I don't mind the guy. And we got Stud Muffin, $5. Arch, what country would you move to and would you change your collection to watches that define that country? I got the rancher in the rating room. What do I say to him, John? What do you say to him? Is he yeah. asking, asking if he's going to behave? He's actually put a message there. Yeah, two horns. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, he's, what does that mean? I don't understand him. What does he oh, want? He's having a go again, isn't he? Yeah, he's not really friendly, is he? Well, that's why I question. I, you know, ask me what question is he going to behave? Yeah, there we go. We're asking like, him. He can put, a, put an answer. On? Like, this is your room, isn't it? This is your house. Yeah, this is my, my house. He's just Irish. shitting at the front. Yeah, you know, he wants to shit on your front doorstep before he's even knocked on the door. The timepiece fund two dollars dividend paying EFT is best option for senior citizens. I don't think you want to be upset and be a Clooney either, you know. No, Bear no, said I... he's poison. That's what Bear said to me. Bear, Bear said he's poison, and and I haven't I hadn't even asked Bear about the log trainer. <laughs> <laughs> um. My dad has actually got a lot of money in 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 a, in a, in a stock called. He's got licks. 
Licks. My dad likes licks. Licking. He likes licking. Licks. Licensed investment company. He's got a lot of AFI. But he wants to keep some cash because my dad's in his 70s. He said, if I put it all into shares and it halves, what do I do? He said, I need to keep some cash on hand, like in the term deposit. Oh, term deposit. What are they paying? 1.2% or something? Yeah, why would you bother? Well, no, well, he needs some cash in case, you know, in case the Indonesians come. Tell him to go and buy a Actually, you state. know, the stupid thing is he sold me the coin. That's where I got the coin from. My dad sold He said, you want to buy a gold coin? I said, yes, I do, sir. Go to go and buy a big safe and put all his cash in I, there. I know. I, 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 he doesn't listen. He doesn't want He goes, why does someone comes here? What happens? Da, 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 da. Okay, Dad, that's okay. Got a time just, delay. Just... Got a time delay. Get it one of a time delay. Can't even open it yourself. See how long they stick around and someone's holding a gun to your head. You can't open the safe because it's got a time delay on it. See how long their patience lasts. How long is your time delay? 15 minutes. That's if you open it up right, then it'll trip. It'll trip, then it'll go half an hour. Then you trip it again and it'll take an hour to open it up. You want to get it right first. Mm. You know, it's in two sections. Two sections. There's a top part and there's a bottom part. You leave a little bit of, you know, a little bit of greenery on the bottom shelf. You know, they'll be happy with that and they'll bolt. You know? I got to tell you guys, seriously, you look what happened. Saad, look what happened in India. Yes. Don't so think I'm it's not going to happen in Pakistan. It can, it can, everything can happen here. Arshi, tell me this thing. What makes people, you know, decide what watch will be worn by, you know, age? For example, I, I used to wear these dated presents when I was 18 years old. My father gave me to be one. I now want to, want to buy a Calatrava. I am 34, 35 years old. Can I wear it? Is there any, you know, instruction manual where it's written that you no, cannot wear No, a... you can wear whatever you, I tell you honestly, you can wear what. Look, the thing is, a Calatrava, they just very simple. they just very classic, right? they just beautiful. I, I love Cal... I, I'm wearing one at the moment. You know, I like to buy things that they're a little bit soft. They, 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 they actually are not crazy in price, you know? Like the Nautilus and Aquanaut is ridiculous. But they're, on the pre-owned market, they're semi-reasonable. If you if you if you want something for a younger guy, go for white gold. It looks like steel. You know, white gold is much. You know, I got one white gold. I always loved the white gold, and I got three in yellow because I love the yellow. I like the yellow. I don't have a rose. I like. I like the. Um, yeah, I buy one. Buy one and see if you like it. But I would say five one nine six is great watch. Maybe 5296 or 5127. That's a great automatic one. If you want automatic, it's up to you. I love automatics. So, you know, it's easier. You know, the, actually, I cloud... prefer the manual wine because you don't have to set the date. I hate having the wrong date. So it's much easier. I, th I think this is actually the best just for long. I, I love it because you don't have to muck around with it. And I prefer manual wine because I don't wear it every day anyhow. I only wear all my watches. <laughs> I mainly wear a sub or a explorer or milgauss all the time i only put the paddock on for a little bit reverend plastic two dollars repent yai children of horology lifetime bans there we go plastic plastic's been loyal that's a he's an aussie guy he's he's a he's a good man you know he's just a good man and he's done well you know he's he's really <clears throat> he's done well he's a lovely guy Doc, BBC, just out of the morgue. How long you're on for? Can join you in 15. I think I'll stay for two hours today. So we're an hour 20. So another 40 minutes I'd, I'd stay on the air. What do you reckon, John? Yeah, that's cool, Arch. You know, i got to tell you something. I'm not going to name names, right? But one of the younger crew members said to me, you know, Arch, with you streaming for three hours a day, how am I supposed to stream? Oh, break me out. And I said to him, why do you think I'm doing it? I'm trying to scoop up <coughs> that traffic. <clears throat>
And even if they, they rebel stream, which is an automatic ban, the thing is I'm halving their audience because I retain some people so they don't, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of diversity. Oh, i got to tell you. People, you I, know, people play two screens out. Watch both channels. Hundred percent. Um, tell me this, Rx guy. Have you ever considered streaming? Yeah, I do a lot of it. I've got an A10 Mini Pro from Black Magic. <clears throat> no, I mean, oh, do yeah. you do live streams? Live streams. Yeah, I, I do a few, but not as frequently as I should. But do I'm you get super chats? Yeah, I've gotten significant amount, not as many as you do. How many <laughs> days a week do you? Original. Rx is one of the original travel channels out there. Yeah, he's very cool. One of the original ones. Tell me this: Do you how many days a week do you stream? Probably a few times a month. I need to I need to do like you do and make it predictable because you've got a. I mean, how many viewers do you have right now? Like four hundred or so? <clears throat> Three hundred and fifty-two. Yeah, I mean that's impressive. Yeah, because people know when to watch. See, I just do it. I'm in Australia. I start at night. I take the kids to school. Then I start streaming from nine a.m. my time, and I go for a couple of. How many hours would you stream for if you were me, see? Well, I would stream as many hours as I could, you know, get the super chats, because otherwise I'm just wasting my time. I'm a capitalist. Mm. <laughs> 100% agree with you. 100% agree with you. Sean W, $2.79, AC3, did you find the Daytona small on the wrist? I had a two-tone. I had a two-tone. Thanks very much there. I had a You got to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. Yeah, you just leave the screen on. We like to have the background just... They don't have to turn the camera off. Yeah, I don't we have like my it. pants on. I got I to gotta mute it. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got to tell you... Um, did I you find it small? Like no. No, it wasn't small. I tell you honestly... It is, it is, out of all the sports watches, it's probably the smallest, but I never found the size a problem. I actually found it really nice. It's a really nice watch. I think it was a beautiful watch. I No, I didn't find it small. It's good to have some variety. I don't want them all big. Like for me, I got Calatravas that are, I got one that's 30, they're all 37 mine. One wears like a 35, one wears like a 36 and a half, one wears like a 38. And one wears like a 37. Man, I like different variety. I don't want all big ones or all small ones. I want variety. So in your collection, it's good to have some different different ones. Randall K, $8. Would you ever buy a Grand Seiko watch or do you think they are a waste? I got to tell you, seriously? Seriously? That's a very good question. Because I went through a phase where I was doing one watch per brand. And I could have easily added a Grand In fact, I was looking for good Grand Seikos. Would I ever add one now? Let me tell you this. Yeah, I want to add one. I do. Because, now this may sound weird to you guys, but my wife is Japanese. And I think it would be nice... The Japanese are extremely racist. They think they are the, they think everything they make is the best. And to be completely honest with you, with their cars, I think they are true. They are the best. They may not be the most stylish. They may not be the most luxurious, but they're the most reliable. Bang per buck, reliability. And the Grand Seikos, I've got to tell you, I wanted to hate them for so long. I did. The quality on them. It's amazing. The quality is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So would I get one? Yes, definitely. I like more of a retro one. Maybe that GMT with the Aqua Hand. I haven't really started my search yet, but definitely I want one. Stud Muffin, $2. Archie forgot to answer my super chat. Laugh out loud. Which was his super chat? What was the super chat? I can't remember. Stud Muffin. Stud Muffin. Where, where was his super chat? Stud Muffin. Remind me because I, my, my screen doesn't go forever. This stream yard seems to get rid of the old one. What is, what is your question? If you super chat again, Stud Muffin, I will answer it immediately. So, yes, I'd like to. Sorry, Sarge. 
what do you think about these oyster perpetuals the coral red the yellow tile the tiffany blue are they good I think they're different? amazing I think they're amazing I love them are they very basic you know the most basic was that rolex makes you know it has nothing oh, man. No Drop the link for JJ. Here we go. We've got JJ coming on. Let me just tell you this. I, I think personally, the Oyster Perpetuals, I think they are beautiful. If I was buying one now with my money, I would prefer to get a Milgauss, an Air King. The Explorer 139 is already crazy, so forget that. If I was buying an Oyster Perpetual, I'd rather get a Milgauss or an Air King. But... You asking me the question what do I think of them I think they're amazing I think it's so cool I love the colors the Tiffany the British racing green the yellow I love all the co- even the black I love all of them I think they are absolutely amazing and they Rolex has revived the range and I think to be honest with you yeah if you can get one grab it you got a 39 RX guy haven't you Yep 39 white Do you like pole. it? Yeah, it, it's nice. When um, did you get that? Uh, I've had it a long time. Pre, so he bought it cheap. You bought it, bought it, you bought it re- brand new, or you bought it pre-owned? Yeah, brand new. Okay, probably not the smartest thing, but now in hindsight, it's actually still a bargain. You probably did very well. That's the thirty-nine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They got big demand for them, and you know what? They really... And it doesn't have the double bat- double batons. That's what you get on the current reference. Yes, that's correct. But I, I got to tell you, it's the cheapest, least expensive Rolex. That kind of appeals to me. Like you think about it, it's an oyster. It's it's such a beautiful piece. And we got my good friend JJ. How are you, JJ? <sighs> Arch, what's what the hell is going on, man? I come home from hey, getting a haircut. Hey, we got the haircut. two JJs down the bottom. JJ Lacoute and JJ. <laughs> Look at this, the two JJs. I went to get a haircut. JJ Lacoute. Hello, guys. Hello, sucker horn. Hello, hey, everyone. can we see the haircut? Take that cap off. You've got a haircut. Let us have a look, man. Let us have oh, a look. If somebody wants a super chat, Arch, we'll give them a peek. Oh, super chat, and we will show. How are you, man? What's going on? Tell me. You, I, I sense you're a little bit. What? What, what, what happened? A little sick. A little sick today. No, just oh, you're saying cold. something about. Oh. You went oh, away I said, and... what's going on? I went to get a haircut, I... and it looks like all hell broke loose today. What happened? I don't know. I thought. Uh, I thought you guys were good. What happened? The uh, the battle continues. You got no, to catch me up to speed. I just had to explain the rules. No rebel streaming, oh. or else you get a ban. It's simple as that. No oh. rebel streaming, or you get a two show ban. I see. I see. And you know, I got to tell you, it's like the rats, right? What happened is one rat got splashed. And the other, I can see the eyes. I look through the corner and I can see these little eyes in the next room. They they, they don't know where to the come on. The little beady eyes. Oh man, look at that day. Look at that Daytona man. That looks so fucking sexy. Sad. That is a sexy watch. Sh- show it again. Show it again there, Sad. And and uh, JJ, look at that man. I gotta tell you the honest truth, Sad. I reckon the two tone is the sweet spot. You need to add more, Sard. Double down. Get a two-tone. Get a two-tone, baby. Add it. Add it. Add it. Stud muffin, five bucks. What country would you move to, and would you change your collection of watches that defines that country? Seriously, you know where I would move to? That's a very good question. Sucker horn. Sucker horn. How are you? You know where I'd go, John? Tell me, mate. I've been to many countries. This may not be the cheapest country. In fact, it could be quite expensive. But if I could, if I was actually going to leave, I would go to Bangers. I'd actually go to Thailand. Maybe. No, no, no. Hang on. Hear me out. This is post-COVID because I can't leave the country at the moment, right? But out of all the Asian countries, I like Vietnam. Vietnam is a contender. Look, Hong Kong, Singapore. Unless you were really rich, that's I wouldn't go there. Okay, if if I was really rich, I would. You know where I'd like to live if I was really. Actually, I tell you, let me give you three countries. If I was really rich, Hong Kong or Singapore. If I was a bit richer than I am, Japan. Japan is amazing. Actually, I'm going to live in Japan anyhow. To be completely yeah. honest with you, once my youngest is eighteen, 
I am moving there with my wife to live. I love Japan. Japan is amazing. It's one of the most amazing countries. Now, when I say I'm going to live there, live there for six months. Where would I put my feet down? I actually love Thailand. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love Vietnam. Thailand, Vietnam. I've never been a Philippines man. Indonesia, never really been Indonesia sort of guy. I love Malaysia. Malaysia could be the sweet spot. I actually really do love Malaysia. I really, really, because it's kind of between... It's, I love Malaysia. Actually, you know, I honestly could live in any of those countries there. So for me, where would I go? Malaysia, Japan, Thailand. Yeah, that would be the three countries. If I was rich, I'd go and live in Singapore. I love Singapore. Singapore's expensive. Singapore is exp Look, real estate is expensive to buy a house, to buy a car. Shit, don't even get me started on cars, please. Now, would I change my watches? You know what? You know what? The watches. Would I change my watches? No, no. I, I th Those watches are perfect. Because I got four paddocks. Okay? Th those are for special occasions. Dinner with the High Commissioner. Dinner. Dinner. Uh... At the bordello with with, with 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 a new squeeze. Dinner, you know, just 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 actually forget the commissioner. I'd I'd rather be with the squeeze than the commissioner. You know that, John? Yeah, I agree with you about Japan, Paul. If I had the money, I'd live in Japan. I've said it for years. I've said it for over oh, years. The problem with Japan is money. you also need. I honestly believe if you want to live in Japan, you need a Japanese wife because the language and things are so difficult. I don't think you could survive without that. You need somebody who knows that. That's why I'm going to go there because Japan is not actually that expensive. Tokyo is expensive, but in the other areas, it's actually quite reasonable. You need somebody who's Japanese. That's why I'm actually pumping in so much money buying jewelry for my Japanese wife. It's, I'm not doing it because I'm doing it because I want to live in Japan. That's where I want to go. I got to get those things sorted out. We're fixing up the relationship, and I want to live in Japan. Would I? I'm not going to change the watches. I've got three Rolex, a Speedy, and a Reverso. Man, that is all for Asia. That's hot weather climate watches. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. You betcha. I got LV luggage packed, and I'm ready to board the plane. I want to get out of here. I can't stand it in the Western world. It's so 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 boring it's so boring tim will be welcome back on on saturday night stream he'll be welcome back into the crew on saturday night stream <clears throat> you know what they do in the army by the way i don't know if you know this john okay you, let me tell you how army discipline works okay you have a staff sergeant. He brutalizes one one troop. Okay, you, let me tell you how army discipline. Now, the reason he does that is so he doesn't have to brutalize everyone. He just picks a target, a soft target, and then it keeps the rest of the men in check. You understand strike. this, John? Yeah, yeah, you've been you, yeah. you understand, you right? Got to create an example, Archie. Yes, certainly. So that's what I've had to do. I've had to take Tim out. He's been disobeying the rules. I clearly put the rules out there. The pontiff put the rules out. There was nothing to haggle or argue about. The rules are the rules. And he clearly violated the rules. And unfortunately, I was trying to be nice and nice and give a bit of leeway, but they don't, the troops don't respect you unless. It's like a good pimp. A pimp needs to belt the shit out of the girl every now and again to keep her in check. Paul, I was taught uh, a lesson in life many, many years ago when I was a young man. There's a modus operandi in life. And that is, you know, if, if you've got a disagreement with someone or you're not getting on with them, you know, you know step one, strike fear. Strike fear. If they don't come into line then, you know, hit their kick. 
cost them money. Cost them money because that hurts. You know, when you cost mm, someone money. It, that really stings, yes. <laughs> that, that money hurts, hurts. yes. Thirdly, yes. You know, after that, you know, if you're not satisfied, you know, with striking fear and costing them money, then give them a belt. You know, then, you know, then uh, you, know, you can get physical with them. But, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, strike, you, you don't get past strike striking fear. Now, at the moment, you know, the situation as I see it in your channel, you know, the fear you're striking you know, really hasn't, you know, sunk in. You know, cost them money. That will hurt. You know, that will hurt. But the irony, gentlemen, you know, everyone come, comes back to Arch. You know, they come, you know, they come, you know, you know, they try to press their point. You know, they go, they always come back. You've been around a long time, Arch. And, 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 yeah. and guys, any members of the new crew, just go and, go and have a look at Clive, see how well it worked out when he left with the log trainer. Oh, well, you know what happened. Just go and have a look. Go and have a look how great that man's done in life. He's really happy. Everything's <laughs> gone winner, winner, chicken dinner since he left. A lot of people like the ego, Paul. A lot of people like the ego, you know, hanging off Archie Luxuries, you know, your strings. You know, hanging off you, mate. You know, it's all very well when, you know, you've got them under their wing. And they get a little bit of confidence about them. They think they know more about life than what you do. You know, they get a little bit cocky. Then they want to try and start to tell you what to do. And that's their greatest mistake. You know, I'd learn Here that. Here we go. Way. I got a yeah. super chat here. Jay Dillings, five dollars. Arch looking at getting a Lang Sun eighteen fifteen up down. My AD in Sydney is saying the most discounts they can do is three to five percent. Does that sound right, or is he talking bullshit? I gotta tell you, that is a beautiful watch. The A Lang Sun eighteen fifteen up down is an amazing watch. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, you should be able to get ten. 10% without any dramas, okay? Um, I think it's Watches of Switzerland is the agent for Lange. Um, that's what they give the rookies, 5 to 3%, 3 to 5%. Seriously, anyone can get 10, maybe a bit more. But you know what? Even at 10, it's not enough. You've really got to buy that watch 25% off. The secondary market for that, man. Why do you have to buy it new? My friend, the super collector, he bought one. Man, a lot of Langes. A half, half price. Half price. Okay, so I got to tell you, my my honest advice to you is, is to, um, that's bullshit. Don't buy it new. Don't buy it new. Don't buy it new. You don't buy it new. It's bullshit. You don't buy it new. Any time you buy it new, if they will sell you an Odysseus as well. Ask them that deal. That's what they're saying in America. You buy one at full retail and they will sell you an Odysseus. Ask them about that. But watches of Switzerland, I'll be honest with you, they're a bunch of assholes. I never really liked them. They're jerks. Um, I, I hate them. I just hate them. I don't, I don't particularly... I don't particularly like any of the dealers, but watches of Switzerland. I got a mate of mine who really sucks their asshole, but I think they suck. I don't. I don't think they're that great at all. And you know what? Tell them to stick it up their asshole. Three to five percent. You got to be joking. But that's what the discount is now. That's what it is. So I. I don't buy it. Don't buy that bloody thing, brand new. You don't buy Lang A new. Randall K, $4.50. Do you think NATO straps are childish? I got to tell totally. you. Ugly. Oh, I got to be totally honest with you. I actually love them, man. It's a guilty pleasure. A little bit of porn, porn hub, a bit of X hamster, and a NATO strap. <laughs> what watch would I you don't put think... it on, Arch? Well, Rolex doesn't really work well with NATO, okay? Because they've specially done... I would leave bracelets on Rolex unless it's a no-holes case. I love it on a Speedy. Speedy, I, but I, instead of a NATO, I love the leather NATOs. I think the leather NATOs are gorgeous. 
Um, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Hersey Squirt, $5. The Empire did nothing. Crush the rebel scum. Hershey Squirt. A six. Oh, we got Tan Zeal. Tan Zeal is in the house. The Zeal is in the house. Look at this. The Zeal is in the house. $50. Good evening, folks. Stopping by quickly to say hello to all. Good to see you, Jono, on the show. Actually, I must admit, this has been a great show. This is the Archie Luxury Channel. Where what the pontiff says goes. Paddock and pussy fikers. Well said, Tanzil. Well said, Yeah, mate. Tan. I love Tan. I don't care. You know, i got to be honest with you. He's got to be a bit careful around the ladies. We're not going to mention that. But I like him to be a bit respectful. But she gave me permission to let the zeal back on. And I got to tell you, he's always been a good guy to me. The zeal, I love the zeal. He's always loved his paddocks. He loves his cars. But the zeal, man, you got to get a 5035 back again. They're starting to go. They are starting to go. You got to get a 5035. That's the annual calendar. I love mine, Tan. Get it back. Man, I love it. I love it that nobody, it's just too small, it's girl size. Yeah, yeah, I love that, man. I actually really love that watch. Good memories of it. I financed, that's the one I financed the car for, John. Remember that? I refinanced my yes, car mate. to get it. Yes, mate, yes. See, everyone thought I was silly, but I was building my YouTube channel because you can't really be a watch guy if you've got one watch and a Seiko. A Rolex, a Seiko, and a an Omega. You need to have a few. I, I put my money. I borrowed 87000 on cards and car loans to get stock for the channel. Because unless you own the watch or the goods, you never really get really in-depth in love with it. You've got to own it to really love it. You, you, you understand, JJ, don't you? Yes, sir. You definitely have to experience it in the flesh. Uh, and you got to own it, hoard it, possess it, and just, you know, really, really, really love these things. You can't just look Google. You can't do a Bobby Google, can you? <laughs> Come on, Arch. Don't don't put me in the, the don't put me in the corner. You guys fight your own battles. <laughs> no, I'm just saying you can't just Google everything and say, oh yeah, it's a great watch. You got to you got to wear it. No, you got to feel it best. on your wrist. It's the best a crown experience. action is this, this Ulysses Narden. Ooh. I challenge you to pick one up and hold it in your hand and hold your su submariner, mm -hmm. turn that crown, and see how solid this feels. You know what the best clicking noise I've found is on a bloody Steinhardt? You know, really? the clicking, click, click, click. yeah, yeah. I, I got a friend of mine who had a Steinhardt, and I thought, shit, it's really, it's like a gun click. It's almost like a gun click in a chamber. It's so... You never, you never guess it, would you? The best clicking noise oh. is out of a bloody Steinart. Oh my God! Andy How can you handle that? that? God you bless know? his soul. Andy always used to say that, didn't he? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Andy. Yeah, I loved Andy. Yeah, that's yeah. God rest his soul. Hmm. You know, JJ, the, tell the me this. I'm glad arch. you're on the panel. The yeah, crew man. got really angry. I gave you special privileges. Did you know that? Oh, uh, did they? I don't know. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't I, really hear much about it. Because I, I said, <clears throat> the only person who can post their link after the show is JJ, because he's not competitive and he's respectful to the pontiff. Oh, thank you, thank you. And what happened And they that? said, oh, we're just hobbyists as well. And, I, you know, they just... I don't know what it is. Fame know. seems to be a negotiate. very important... You know? Peace treaty, like uh, like the Middle East. You gotta have a peace treaty. Yeah, but you know what? It's like Israel. You need to own nuclear weapons and show them that you can be ruthless before they come to the table. Hard love, right. Paul. Hard love, mate. Hard I, love. I, Remember I think you calling me up in Bangkok many years ago? You said I'm too hard on my little bloke. You were yes. taking him out, balling him, and buying him pizzas, and yeah. Now he was a nice. Uh, your son's lovely. You should be so happy to have him. Oh, he's a great kid. You know. And I said, I'll bring him up tough, Paul. Hard love, you know. Yeah. The minute you show weakness, you know, people, <clears> take, you know, people take kindness. 
No, for weakness. Kindness for weakness. That's exactly it, Jono. And, and you know right what? I, I, I didn't want to do this with the new crew. I wanted to be sharing and caring and look how it worked out. It's, it's, you know what I feel like? I feel like I've got Carter in the White House. That's how I feel now. <laughs> remember Carter? Jimmy Peanut Carter. Farmer. Yeah, remember Jimmy Carter said, maybe you need to lower your expectations. Remember he said that speech? He said, maybe Americans need to lower their expectations. Reagan yeah, well came in. He mopped the floor with Carter. And, and, you know, Carter was actually a nice guy. The guy was a, a decent sort of guy. You know, Carter actually installed a solar panels on the White House. I don't know if you guys knew this. He did. He was the first president to do that. And Reagan scrapped them. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what do you think about rubber B? Rubber B scraps. Rubber, rubber B? B? Uh, yeah. Look, rubber B or Everest. You know what? I prefer to have the watch on the bracelet. The Rolex looks so good on the bracelet. Don't, don't. I, I just think that's the best. You, you know, know, I you know tell ABC you... made a good comment about this, Arch. I don't know if you're aware, but mm -hmm. I didn't know either because I don't own either one. But he says the Everest is better because the rubber B, you actually have to trim with scissors. They don't size uh, it. Yes. They yes. don't size it like, like Everest. You buy it to your size according to the links. If you have four links on one side, five links on the other, or six, you know, an eight, whatever, then they give you that measurement. No kind of like Ulysses Norden on the rubber. Yeah, no kind of got to cut it to fit yeah even the paddock you got to cut jeff five dollars this is an excellent panel thank you, thank you jeff. jeff and randall k five four dollars fifty arch would you ever buy a blank pane diver i gotta tell you they actually look really nice i love that lacquered bezel that bezel it's almost like a toffee you know it's so lacquered polished sort of bezel the problem, like, they actually aren't as bad. I think they're a Phoenix brand. Like, Blank Pain is not. Blank Pain pretends to be so refined and stuffy, but they kind of, they're kind of a Phoenix brand. Archie, and let me say this. I went into uh, Blank Pan on Fifth Avenue in New York, and it yes. was a really cool experience. I didn't think I would like it, but the 50, yeah. the 50 Fathoms, when they put it on my wrist, it was really nice. The bath escape, or however you pronounce it, yeah, it didn't look that great. But the 50 Fathoms was a phenomenal piece on the rear. Yeah, look, I think my problem is there's other things I'd rather buy. You know, I, 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 I could see myself buying a Breguet Marine before buying a Blank Pain diver. Oh, yeah, I agree 100%. Breguet is such a better company, you know? You, know? you have to buy that pre owned, of course. I never, <laughs> never buy that brand new. I don't understand why people have this big thing and they must buy new. I, I honestly, when you've got dealers like David SW or Pride and Pinion, who cares buying it pre-owned? I remember years ago, there was this ad for BMW, right? And what it did is it had this BMW 7 Series and it had this 24-year-old supermodel standing next to it. And it said, does it really matter if you weren't the first? That was the ad, right? And I thought mm. that was so cool. Does it really matter? It's, it's, it's kind of... Patrick Chip, five bucks. Archie doesn't negotiate with terrorists. What Archie <laughs> says goes, Fikers. Uh, Archie's a diplomatic businessman. I think we could bring him to the table. If anyone could do it, I think I could do it, Arch. Now tell Arch, me this. Are you I'm... running a stream after this today? Gentlemen's Hangout. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do one later on. Well, you, it's a good idea to get the link. Put the link now. Uh, yeah, you know, Arch. I, I don't. No, I don't no. Wanna, I'd like you to put the link close. because yeah, we I'll want. Do it, we want right. no, I want you to post the link. I want right. to show the guys. You know, this is my clear decision of who posts links. If they want to post links, it's fifty US macaroonies. Fifty right, US, yeah. because you know why it's fifty US. Why? Because I offered it to you for 16 bucks and you thought I was ripping you off. Then I said I, I based it on $20 a day minus 20% for paying in advance. And you thought I was an asshole. So you know what? Double it! <laughs> Double it. It's now 50 US dollars. And if you want to whinge, I'll make it 100. Arch, um, remember what Tanzil just said before? It sort of made me think of that 
that movie, the 300, you know, when that bloke comes up and says, this is Sparta. Well, this is the Archie luxury channel, boys. Like it or fucking lump it, Archie's calling the shots. No one else. If you don't like it, go away. Um, yep. So, yep, away. gentlemen, hang out. He's running a show. Ten more minutes to go, and uh, you'll be doing your one there. Yep. Uh, JJ, great. Yeah, I'm going to start it up to... early. I had it set later because yeah, I, did, I didn't want to be uh, interfering with your... Because what I'd like you to do is, JJ, the really reason I'm promoting it is to stop the rogue streamers from getting any streams, see? <laughs> you know, Bobby said to me, Bobby said, Hey, Art, you know, if you're streaming for three hours, how am I supposed to make any money? Oh, and I said, I said, that's right, fucker! That's what I said to him. I said, that's right, fucker. What do you think I am here? A charity? And then he complains because he's so important. Well, you know what? The next thing I'm going to do, I can tell you this here. I'm going to take one of the crew and bastardize them just so the rest of the crew can, can respect me more. Strike. I learned yeah. from the British. You look at the British Army, how they did things. You look at the British Army... You thought they were bastards, but they had a method behind the madness, okay? Let me tell you this, okay? <laughs> don't worry, Toyota Mo. I and only forget, stream occasionally My grandfather's anyway. best friend, he was in the Russian army as a Schnauzenhofer. He was a Schnauzenhofer in the, the Russian army. What his job was to shoot the fucking deserters and send them. That's, that's what his job was. Isn't that a clever idea, though? If you were running an army, wouldn't you? I would think that's a brilliant idea. You know, <laughs> yeah. considering the the reason they were deserting is because they also had World War Two guns against the Germans. World War Two. So they had World War One weaponry against World War Two um, technology. So, kind of, you can't really blame the Russian soldiers for trying to skip. Okay. In my grandfather's, he was in the Russian army, in his regiment, they had one horse and one rifle for two guys. <laughs> and it's well, a bolt-action rifle. You know what I mean? The Germans have got machine guns. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me how it's going to end, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you can't beat German technology, except when it comes to axe making. They don't do a good job in axe making. And a plastic water pump. And it, well, no, that's <laughs> deliberate. That's to make it obsolete. It's a fantastic idea. You think about it. The plastic lasts until they want to sell you the next one. You've got to hand it to the Germans, you know. Yeah, Toyota Mo, two problem. bucks. JJ, be careful. He is testing you. No, JJ <laughs> gets the link because he's the favoured child, okay? <laughs> he's the favoured child. Um, and... Uh, you know? advice, Paul. Don't take the Russians on in winter. Didn't work for Napoleon. <laughs> didn't work for Napoleon. It didn't. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> it. Yes. No, don't take them on in the winter. That don't work. <laughs> yes. That. Well, it, it. He. They expected to have won that. If you look at World War Two, the biggest mistake they did is they split their army. They had the the front fighting England and the other side fighting the Russians. So. If they would have concentrated on one end, the results could have been very different. Because, let's face it, the English didn't like the bloody Russians anyhow. Okay? And the, um, you know, this is... Pack 14, 5 pounds. Grandapur, very subtle. We'll say, when will Saad start his own streams? Arch, it's got to hurt, remember? It's about day date in platinum with Arabian numerals. I don't really like. I don't know. They worth a fortune the Arab dials, but I, I want something I can read myself. Okay, guys, how are we going? Anthony Napatano, two dollars. You created a monster arch. <laughs> that was really well, funny. Not the first time, mate. Not the first time. You've been <laughs> here. <clears throat> and and this is the thing. See, when the crew first came on, butter wouldn't melt. They were community oh, orientated. They were. They didn't have their own channels. They were. 
They were so cool. How Archie, could it go you, so wrong? Archie, can you differentiate between Rolex stainless steel, platinum and white gold from two meters away? Look, normally it's it's to do with the dial options. Normally the platinum, they reserve certain dial options and certain, it's, that that's more, like, like n normally the platinum's not in everything. They don't make a platinum oyster perpetual, for example. You know, they, they make platinum only in certain product lines. So it's more to do with that. And, uh, here we go. Diz, Jerez, Diz, $15. Good night, Arch and crew. I just woke up from my beauty sleep. I have something to say. Oh, okie dokie. He's, he's not a bad dude. That's the Israeli guy. You know, he's, he, his job, he, he's at a Tel Aviv power plant. When the red light comes on, he makes the phone call. That's his sole job. He just sits there all day. It's a job for life. When the red light comes on, he makes a phone call. That is his, that's his, the guy is as mad as they come. I love him. I love him. I absolutely love him. Four minutes, three minutes and counting down, guys. I'm, this is a two hour stream. A three hour tour. Remember the Gilligan's Island Arch? You got to do yes. a three hour tour, man. Yeah, that's that's exact. So, so JJ, see, this is good because you run your stream and you're stopping the other guys from successfully doing <laughs> well, their streams. So I think Tim, the... Tim already did a, a four hour pre stream, so I think we're uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're all yeah. set. But we'll see. Four hours, really? No, I'm only kidding. I think it was, but it was like three, something like that. We'll see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's a busy man. He is a busy... Well, you know, the best thing I can do with Tim is to just see whether he can snuff him out. I should just pick him and say, let's see if we can snuff you out. I ban him from coming on anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And let's see if I can snuff him, snuzzle. I don't know, Arch. Maybe you could bring it to the table and come up to him. Snuff! Mon monetary what do you think, resolution. John? Do you reckon I could snuzzle, cough him out? Look how, look how it worked for Clivers. Shut up, Mark. said bring him to a table, but don't forget whose table we're eating from at the moment, boys. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying get him to the table and, uh, you know, come to a monetary resolution better than snuffing out, right? Oh, well, sometimes yeah, it's good yeah. just to snuff for the fun of it. Yeah, money talks <laughs> a good snuff is that. a good snuff, you know what I mean? It's not always about the money. What? You know, I was selling a, I was selling a paddock, right? I was selling a paddock. And I was negotiating with somebody, right? And it, 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 he's, he's kind of sort of lowballing me, right? And I said, you know something? I don't sell these for the money solely. Yes, money's important to me. But what I really like is rich people wanting, desiring things that I own. Okay? It's like going to a swingers party with the hot chick. Everyone wants to have a, have a piece of her and you control her right and i said one of the thing the great joys in life is telling rich people to go fuck himself and that's what i'd like to say to you the big difference between old money and i changed money. my mind about selling it to you because i just like to see you grovel hmm. hey Art, this, can i ask you a question a, a, a business can, question ask, you can ask me. Just get me get the super chat. Sure. Diz Jerez, fifteen dollars. Arch is the original. Is the OG. He is why I watch YouTube videos about watches. He is the ruler of my heart. JJ, how you doing? Okay. Oh, hello. Fire away. Fire in the hole. Would you consider negotiating your price down from five hundred a month? Oh, That's my first question. No. I'm happy to consider any offers that are offered on the table. All right. I'm going to relay back to Tim after, <clears> and uh, we'll, we'll continue. See what his yeah. highest offer. What's his highest offer, and then we'll go, go from there. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm always, always, always happy to consider good offers. Okay. Super chat. And here we go. Super chat. Patrick Chip. If Tim Wright started a live stream, no one would have seen it. He went to the King Maker, Archie Luxury. Tim used the same approach as so many before him, like TGV. Rico and the Log Drainer. Crush 
them arch. Good comment. Very, very good comment there. In fact, that's such a good comment. I'm going to take a photo of it for my Instagram. <laughs> good comment um, indeed. Hey, Arch, somebody in the chat is asking uh, if I get a commission for brokering the deal. Hey, man, I'm getting the drop the link for free. I'm good. Yeah, he gets, he's, he's got his own He's got yeah. his special uplift. He gets the uplift, it's called, <laughs> in the business. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's... Diz, Jerez, Diz, $6. World War II was decided in outskirts of Moscow in 1941. Yes. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this baby up. Thank you so much for coming on, man. This is a very good stream. We had a good fun today. I hope you guys found it entertaining. Remember, this is replacing television. Television is yesterday's technology this is it guys and uh i'll see you tomorrow 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 in america is friday night so that'll be a three yes. hour stream three, three hour, hour stream. stream three <laughs> hour stream okay guys see you tomorrow later guys later, later.